to save our state. To do so, I continue to remember where we were as a state prior to the year. What we accomplished over the past year, and most importantly, where we are headed in the year to come. When I addressed you in this chamber last January, Wisconsin had suffered for three years 150,000 of our fellow citizens losing their jobs. The unemployment rate was 7.5%. And after years of tax increases and budget cuts, Wisconsin faced one of the largest budget deficits in the country. Now our unemployment rate is down from a year ago. In fact, it's the lowest it's been since 2008. Still, there is more to be done to protect the taxpayers of Wisconsin. Last year, I appointed the Bipartisan Commission on Waste, Fraud, and Abuse. the Waste, Fraud, and Abuse Elimination Task Force, charged with the responsibility to follow through on that report. Because I respect the hardworking people of Wisconsin, I will continue to be a good steward of the taxpayers' dollar. together for a while. Well, and then... no, I was like squirting. <laughs> and they were like watching me because my sister got out first and they knew we were talking the whole time. And besides like, my whisper is a loud voice. Okay. <laughs> so even, and I laughed too much, so they had their eye out, but I was, but yeah, I just thought I had to do it. So what was it? Tell you. Okay. So I work for the schools and uh, my big problem is the budget cuts yeah. um, that directly hurt our poorest and most needy children. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not the, even the unions. I don't even care about the unions as much. I no. Just, the, the lack of funding for public education yeah. is what got me really mad. And I don't know. I work with a lot of like 
social services and they're being cut left and right. Uh -huh. He cares, and I think he just cares oh, about I the think money. He cares about um, he cares the about his people. people. And the, he cares, yeah, and that's I don't it. Think he represents Wisconsin. He represents no. um, a very small minority that's keeping money. And I think if you're trying to privatize the whole state, how is that saying that you represent Wisconsin? It's like when he said that the government doesn't create jobs. Well, I worked for the government <laughs> as a as a as a district employee. So therefore, that is my job. If you took that away, I wouldn't have a job. So it's just such a blatant, it just pisses me off. Great. It's, it's so disconnected from yeah. like a lot of the population. Don't listen to us, and why should we listen to him? Um, what I would say is that he needs to start caring for the majority. Yeah. And not the minority. So is it appropriate? Um, I think the question is, how else are you going to talk to him? Because he's not listening. If he listens from the get go, it would be different. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I highly respect the authority and people in charge that have never done anything like this before. But if you aren't listening, yeah. we do mean to listen. And people might. I don't think so, because here's what happened. Well, just from me. One guy said something, another guy said something, and I said something. Yeah. So I think it'll actually spread the bravery. Well, I think people, if, if we become known, I think they'll slam us. But I don't think it's inappropriate. But I didn't I get. Don't know. I know. That's a hard I, last year. You know, like last year when people were getting dragged out and then the media was spinning right. and manipulating it. And then I was like, well, and I asked the same question. I'm like, well, does it hurt it? Does it help it? And. I don't have an answer. Yeah, I, I, don't I really had to know. do what I had to do. Yeah. I, I, I felt, wasn't thinking that. No. And I do not think it'll hurt it because. <laughs> I don't think it'll hurt it. Because I yelled. <laughs> and that's what I did. I yelled. <laughs> that's all I did. Okay, do you guys have anything else you'd like to add? Recall Walker. Recall Walker!